My name is Chris Kramer, and I'm a faculty member in the Department of Chemistry at the University of Minnesota. As a researcher, I try to predict how molecules will behave, especially large collections of molecules. And thermodynamics is one of the most powerful tools we scientists have to make such predictions. For instance, I'd like to perform a short demonstration of something called the thermite reaction. In this little flower pot, I have a mixture of two common substances, aluminum powder and rust, the latter of which a chemist would call iron oxide. A quick thermodynamics calculation, which you'll learn how to do, tells me that if I can start a chemical reaction between these two species, it ought to generate a spectacular amount of energy. Shall we give it a try? I'm going to light this sparkler to deliver a focused heat to the mixture. Wow! Did you see that? We generated enough energy to give off huge amounts of heat and light. It was so hot that we made molten liquid iron that fell from the bottom of the flower pot into the pan below. You can still see it here, red hot. This course is especially focused on molecular thermodynamics which means that we'll explore the connection between the microscopic properties of molecules and the rules that govern the way that macroscopic collections of such molecules behave. In particular, we'll examine the three great laws of thermodynamics, and we'll see how those can be used to understand the relationships between energy, work, heat, and other important thermodynamic state functions. To stay focused, we'll mostly confine ourselves to the study of gases, but the rules that we'll establish are applicable in general, and by the time we're done with the course, you'll have a strong foundation to go on to understand the behavior of other phases of matter. Thermodynamics is a powerful tool. Scientists and engineers use it to guide the design of everything, from computer chips to power plants. In this course, you'll learn the fundamentals through viewing video lectures and demonstrations and working through problem-solving exercises. I look forward to teaching you more about this fascinating subject.